the waterfall, everything looks super cool and nice. But we thought that how do we bring this channel to a higher level? Well, just wait and see. Today we start outside Xinjiang station, but we already discovered Xinjiang area. If you want to take a look at that, you can click on the link up on the right here. Uh, it's from when we're biking from Xinjiang to almost Amsterdam. Today we are going to check out another place called Ulai. We're going to transfer to a bus, bus 849, that's going to take us directly to Ulai, where we're going to check out a waterfall. Ulai is famous for its hot springs and also this old street we're walking on right now. They have plenty of food, they have fruit stands, you can get these traditional snacks. It's really great. Specialty from Ulai is a sandwich of egg with egg. Where did you buy it? 7 Eleven. <laughs> it has an amazing view, it's right next to the river and uh, one of the main things you can do here is the hot springs. Before they actually had hot springs right next to the river, today it was closed down due to safety reasons. So unfortunately there were no hot springs today. But we also found out that they have a huge waterfall which is like 20 minutes up the river. We're gonna try to check that out and see if we uh, get some nice photos from there. We're on the other side of the Ula River right now. We cross the bridge. There's two ways to get there. You can either head up here, up the stairs, and you can take the little train that will take you to the waterfall directly, or you can follow the main road straight down here, and you could actually walk. Definitely recommend heading up there and take the train. It's really cool. Especially the tunnel. <laughs> After a five minutes train ride, we arrive at Ulai Waterfall. Normally, there are cable cars that will take you from the bottom and all the way up to the top of the waterfall. Sadly, we just realized that they have maintenance right now, so it's closed for two weeks. Now, I know I promised that I would take this channel to a higher level today, so it's time we move over to Plan B. That's right, we brought a drone. Yeah, we thought it was a duck too. As you can see, the entire place is right next to the river. I hope that you come here and check this out. And not only do you go to the hot springs on the other side of the river here, but you actually continue up to the waterfall. Amazing, it was so beautiful. We took the train over to the waterfall and then we walked back. It took 20 minutes walking, five minutes train. Beautiful both ways. Hopefully the cable car is open when you're here. Maybe you could look it up online somewhere before. We did not, so we didn't get to go up. 
but we got to play around with the drone for a couple of minutes. That was awesome. Uh, sadly, it's not my drone. So I promised myself that if this channel hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna buy myself a drone. Right now when we're shooting this, it has 1,700. It was a short video this time. We just wanted to go out, play around with the drone for a little bit. Please subscribe to this channel, get me that drone, and I promise there will be at least one drone shot in all the future videos. How about that? So it turns out they actually have a sign right by the bus station that says that the cable car is closed today. And it's gonna be closed for the rest of September. Uh, if you're watching this video after September 2018, then either come here, look at the sign by the bus station, or uh, try to find it online somewhere.